so uh, in this uh, example we are going to discuss about the path loss model that we have uh, dis uh, discussed in the lectures so this is the second example of uh, the path loss uh, uh, models in this example uh, we are basically discussing about the uh, cells like uh, consider an uh, outdoor small cell of frequency 2.5 gigahertz cells of radius 10 meter and isotropic antennas under the free space path loss model what a transmit power is required at the base station in order for all terminals within the cell to receive a minimum power of 0.1 microwatt how does this change if the system frequency is 5 gigahertz so uh, first we need to see what parameters are given like frequency is 2.5 gigahertz this d is 10 meter c power is 0.1 microwatt and the other thing is isotropic antenna so it means that the gt and gr transmit antenna gain the receive antenna gain will be equals to 1 or 0 db so we can calculate lambda that is equals to c by f f is given so which is 2.5 gigahertz c is a constant 3 times power 8 so 0 0.3 divided by 2.5 equals to 0 0.12 meter so we need to calculate the transmit power we know the basic relationship between the transmit receive power and the transmit power by the Fry's transmission equation so which is uh, p r equals to p t g t g r lambda by 4 pi d whole square so we can ignore g t g r because we know the antennas are isotropic so the values of g t and g r is, is 1 so uh, and then we can rearrange uh, this equation so we can rearrange e a and then we can get p t so uh, when this uh, uh, portion is uh, rearranged on the other side so it will divide so then p r divided by that whole portion lambda by 4 pi d whole square so give the name of to this equation is b so from this equation we can uh, take out this vector lambda by 4 pi d we have already calculated lambda which is 0 0.12 meter and 4 pi is constant and d is 10 so if we multiply them all together so we can see the answer is 9.12 into 10 raised to the power minus 7 use this value in this equation b and then we can calculate pt so pt is equals to 0 0.1 into 10 raised to the power 6 because pr is 0 0.1 microwatt and this uh, factor is equals to that one 9.12 into 10 raised to the power minus 7 so which is equals to 0 0.1097 watt the second question was that if the frequency changes from 2.5 to 5 gigahertz then how this transmit power change so it means that we only need to calculate this uh, factor uh, in equation b so the lambda will be equal to c by f which is now equals to 0 0.06 meter so then we can calculate that portion so uh, using all these values and then we can see that the lambda, uh, this portion is equal to 2.28 into 10 is power minus 7 and then use uh, this in equation b and then you will end up with the transmit power pt is equal to 0.4388 watt so i hope you understand this uh, equation uh, this uh, uh, example very well so now we can um, consider uh, another example of similar type so uh, for example this example consider a point to point link connecting a LAN so local area networks in a separate building across a freeway in a, across a freeway there are two buildings which are connected uh, using the LAN network and uh, the standard for that network is uh, I, I, uh, 802.11b 801.11b and uh, this is the given data like distance between them is 0.25 mile and we know that one mile is exactly equals to 1.6 kilometer and if we convert it 0.25 so it means that quarter of the mile so quarter of mile will be equal to 400 uh, meter or 0.4 kilometer so uh, it is uh, given that a line of sight communication 
and we for this we can consider free space path loss model in order to calculate the uh, sieve power or transmit power so uh, line, uh, uh, the frequency is also given that which is 2.4 gigahertz and the transmit power is also given which is 24 dbm and the receive minimum receive power in order to uh, extract the information is that minus 80 dbm the question is that uh, what a question in this example to be asked will the signal strength be adequate for communication like if we use all these information and we know the threshold minimum threshold so using all these information you can calculate the receive power if it is the like if your threshold is uh, um, within this range so it means that the system is okay like uh, the uh, signal strength is adequate for communication Again, we know the Fry's transmission equation, which is PR equals to PT multiplied by GT multiplied by GR. And in this case, again, the antennas are isotropic, so that is why GT and GR is equals to 1. And this factor, which is usually known as a free space gain, but if you want to calculate the free space loss, you can take the invert of that factor, so which is in term of sin minus. You can see, so if you want to calculate uh, this is as a gain so the sign will be positive but now in this example you can see the sign is negative so sign negative mean so it is a free space loss so uh, for the free space loss you can take this factor out so which is uh, lambda by 4 pi d whole square and we know the frequency is given so which is 2.4 gigahertz c is a constant and then using these information we can calculate the value of lambda which is equal to point zero point one two meter d is also given which is 400 that was 0.25 mile quarter mile so you can use this information in this equation b and then you can find the path loss the, the propagation loss so which is 0 0.12 divided by 4 pi multiplied by 400 so 4 into 3.14 into 400 and then if you divide this information with that information and taking the uh, square of all then you will end up 5.705 into 10 is to the power minus 10. so uh, this path loss is in uh, like a, a linear value so if you want to take a, uh, if you want to write in db because the equation a is in db so that is why you can take uh, the use this formula 10 log 10 and this linear value here and then you can see it is minus 92.08 dBm. So use this uh, path loss model, uh, path loss in equation A. So PR is equal to PT dB minus path loss dB. And then so uh, like PT was 24 minus path loss was 90 minus 92.08. And then you can see the answer is minus uh, 68. 0 8 dBm so, so it means that this is in range like it you, you this minimum receive was minus 80 dBm so PR is well above the required minimum uh, received power so which was a minus 80 dBm so the link should work very well so I hope you understand uh, this examples very well but if you still have any question you are most welcome you can write your question in the comment box and we will try our best to answer the question thank you for watching the video